Hi everybody, my name is Ryan and I am the Laser and 3D Print Noob and today we're going to be testing out a filament splicer by Hexagon. Mm. So this is a French company. I bought this off of Amazon. It was not provided to me. I purchased it with my own money. Um, and mainly I did that because if you're like me, you have a bunch of these partial rolls of filament laying around and you want to turn those partial rolls into a full roll. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So stick around and let's see if this thing works. So just like you guys, I've got a bunch of these little partial rolls of filament and some of them are just too small to do anything of substance. So what I'm going to do is this one's about three quarters full right about here. So I've got plenty on that, but this one has, there's quite a bit on here, but it's not enough to do anything big. I don't want to throw it out. I mean, there's not nothing real small that I need to print. So it's kind of useless. And I got a bunch of these little rolls like this. So I got this hexagon uh, filament connector. Uh, we're gonna try it out. I've never used a filament connector before. I bought this. This was not, you know, given to me. So it's not a plug. We're gonna try it out and see how it works. So we open it up. And there's an instruction manual. Got a power cord. Here's the unit itself. And then here is, well, a little 3D printed block. keychain and these are the sleeves that it comes with and this is you're gonna, your filament's going to go inside this sleeve to connect I believe and that's where the joint is and this is a portable paring knife all right portable paring knife I'm not sure what It's an actual, <laughs> that's an actual paring knife. <laughs> so, okay, cool. All right, I can peel some potatoes and I can do my filament all at the same time. Great. Okay, so let's open up this roll here. I always like to pull that desiccant out and throw it away so my dog don't get into it. And there you can see, you know, there's there's not even enough on here to, to come through the little window there. So, but there's still quite a bit on there, like I said. So, got that. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull this filament out. And I'm gonna flip it so this filament is up at the top. Okay. So I want it coming out this way. Then I'm gonna take this filament. And I've actually got a little clip on there. Take my little clip off. I'm gonna have this one going this way so that they're going exact opposite. Clockwise, counterclockwise, just like that. All right, so I've taken the hexagon and the power cord. I've gone ahead and I've, I've plugged that in. You got a switch here. One is for heat and over here is a switch for fan. So once you're done, you can switch it to fan, cool this thing down. I have it on heat. I'm letting it preheat. I don't know if you really need to, but I'm gonna let it preheat while I'm doing the rest of this stuff. 
And I'm gonna take one of these sleeves. That's the first time I've done this, so if I screw it up, I won't be surprised, to be honest with you. So, here you can see, I've actually got a melted end on this one. Uh, so, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna spool it out. I'm gonna cut this at like a 45 degree angle or as close to a 45 degree angle as I can get. Okay, then I'm gonna come over here to this one. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try and cut that to a 45 degree angle. That one needs to come this way, so I'm gonna have to cut it this way. And then I'm just gonna see if they kinda line up. And that's fairly close, so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sleeve. And those fit snug, so that's good. I mean, there's no, I mean, I can hold it and the filament isn't coming out. So that's, I mean, that's perfect. So I've taken that one. Find my end back on this one. So this this side here is going at this angle. This side's going at the same angle, but this one's on bottom. This angle starts at the bottom, rather. And I'm gonna slide that in there. And I'm gonna push them together. Now, from what I can see, there, I don't have any gaps in there, so. I'm gonna push this up here. Now, on this thing, there's a knob back here. We're gonna take that knob and we're gonna loosen it. And that pulls back a little arm that's in there that, that is gonna actually compress this. Now I'm gonna stick this all the way down. I'm gonna get that kind of snug. I'm gonna push again on this thing. I wanna make sure that they're together. And then I'm just gonna tighten it down. And now we wait for approximately four minutes. Okay, so it's been about four or five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take that switch, I'm gonna turn it off, and then, ooh, ooh, this is hot. And then I'm gonna switch it to fan. Man, that thing, there's no way to hold on to that that is not hot. Holy smokes. <whistles> yeah, they need a little handle or something on that thing. Good night, Gracie. So now I've turned the fan on. Again, I'm gonna wait for about another four or five minutes, let this thing completely cool off. We'll unscrew it and we'll pull that out. We'll pull that sleeve off and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. This thing is completely cool now and I'm not too worried about, you know, burning myself. Man, that was hot. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna switch this off. This is what I'm talking about, you know, there's no way to hold on to this thing when it's hot. Cause you start pushing the button over here, the whole thing moves. So I, I, I gotta figure out a way to get this thing to stay if I'm using it. So anyway, I've turned that fan off. I'm gonna unscrew it down here. I'm gonna pull that out. So now I have, here's my sleeve, my joint was right in the middle. So now what we're supposed to do is we're gonna take this block that they have 3D printed 
and it's got some little thumb holes on it. That's super nice. And I guess it's supposed to fit down in there. Uh, but it doesn't, really. I mean, it's the same size as the filament, so that's interesting. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and hold it. So let's take our, <laughs> oh, our portable paring knife. And see if we can cut this off. Well, if it actually fit down in there, that'd be great, but it does not. So I'm just going to gently try and cut this away without getting into the filament too much. I can avoid it. So I got, if you can see that, but I've actually got a little bit of it cut away. And now I'm just gonna try and see if I can peel the rest of it off. There we go. And that actually has made, except that it's broke right there. I just kind of broke it, but it actually made a pretty decent slice until I got a little frisky with it and broke it in a separate spot. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this apart and try it one more time and try and be gentler with it, but you, you can see how I kind of broke it right there. And that's sad because the seam was over here. So that's where, this, that's where the melted seam is. So I'm gonna try this one more time. Uh, that, that wasn't too bad, except for this piece of crap, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so second attempt, while this thing was working, I took a file and I kind of filed the groove out a, a little bit in here. And then I grabbed one of these to make sure that it actually fit down in there. So that might solve some of the issue. So let's go ahead, we're gonna unscrew it. pull that thing out. Now, see if it'll fit in there with the filament in it. There we go. I'm liking that a little bit better. All right, so now it's actually stuck in there. So, We'll try our little potato peeler here. Now the problem is that it's down in there enough that you can't actually get it with that little potato peeler. So let's try. Might have to come up with a better way to do that. I'm, I'm almost wondering if that break that I had the last time was from this thing getting into the 
filament a little bit. See if I can peel this off. All right, well, at least I've, actually that's a really nice union. So I've got that whole thing off and this actually looks pretty good. I mean, that is, that's fairly smooth all the way around. So I'm liking that. I need to redesign this thing, but so now what I got to do is I'm going to spool up this, this guy. Take all the old stuff off of here, or the small roll, put it on the roll that's almost nearly full, and we're going to be good to go. All right, so besides the little 3D printed block they send you and the little vegetable peeler, I mean, this is all this is, like a little vegetable peeler you peel carrots or potatoes with, it's the exact same thing. Uh, other than that not being, you know, the, the best of designs, um, it wasn't too bad. I managed to get it done without too many hassles. I had one break. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's a pretty good product. I mean, it, it actually splices it together very well. And as long as you're careful when you're when you're getting that plastic off there after you've welded it together, um, you won't get any breaks. Like I had that happen. Um, other than those two tiny little things, I mean, I think that uh, it turned out really well. My only issue is the way I, I did it when I wound, you know, the, the partial rolls into the one bigger roll is I did it on its side, so it's kind of over overlapping and I had some issues with that so I need to come up with the way where I'll probably just build like a little PVC stand where I can put a roll on one side a roll on the other side and then as I'm spooling it it comes off and it'll you know I can make it nice and smooth other than that I took three partial rolls and turned it into this but as you can see it you know it's not wound the best and I'm kind of concerned I may get some snags here you know where it gets bound up so um, that's on me though but other than that this little guy works really well I think it was about 50 or 60 bucks on Amazon um, go in there and like I said it is it, it does the job real well and it is by hexagon so this is the one that I used and I like it I'll be using it again you guys have a great day don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button wherever it is on your screen have a great day and we'll see you next time